January the 14th, 2005. After a seven-year trek across the solar system, a 400 million pound space probe had just started its fiery entry into Titan's atmosphere. One small malfunction and a lifetime's work would be for nothing. If we had lost the probe for whatever technical reasons, then, you know, we could regard the previous 15 years as having been wasted. From one of the largest radio telescopes on Earth, a tiny signal was picked up. It looks like we heard the baby crying. We still can't understand what it tells us, but clearly the probe is transmitting. Not much stronger than a mobile phone, the signal was coming from over a billion kilometers away, direct from Titan. The probe was alive. With the probe now under parachute, drifting down to the moon's surface, scientists hoped at last to reveal the full mystery of the Earth-like moon of Titan. It was in 1977 that our fascination with this strange moon began. With the Voyager 1 deep space probe. Taking the first close up look of Saturn, Voyager provided detailed images of this giant planet and its many moons. But one stood out Saturn's largest moon, Titan. When we explore planets for the first time, often we're completely surprised by what we found. And, and the same is, is true with Titan. With a thick atmosphere, Titan was unlike any moon that had ever been seen. But frustratingly, Voyager's cameras were unable to see down to the moon's surface as it was shrouded in a thick layer of orange haze. We really wanted to know what was behind this, uh, this haze veil, what was underneath, what was on the surface. I mean, the surface was really the big unknown of, of Titan. Heading off into deep space, Voyager left behind it more questions than answers. Titan would remain a mystery. It was not too difficult to figure out what had to be done after Voyager, and the answer is to go back to Titan. So in 1990, NASA began work on a spectacular new spacecraft called Cassini. Taking seven years to complete, Cassini was the largest and most complex interplanetary satellite ever built. Packed with an array of instruments, Cassini was designed to take readings whilst remaining in a wide orbit around Saturn and its moons. Programmed to fly by Titan, it would try to peer down through its hazy atmosphere, taking measurements from an altitude of over 1,000 kilometers. But to reveal the true nature of Titan at first hand, scientists knew they had to go in for a much closer look. <laughs> 